speak about a very powerful concept today, and that's called emuna. Okay, all I share about emuna is true, but this is emuna in practice. And I was, I told you, I think, before our previous class that I was looking for an estrog and I need like a very special estrog. I couldn't find it. I got a little bit nervous. I said to myself, it's all about emuna. I'm going to have emuna. I'm going to find the estrog. It's going to come. Five minutes later, in this very shul, there's a guy with red hair. His name is Hollis, Rabbi Hollis. He sells the best estrog in Shalim. I went to his house. I got the estrog I wanted. Yeah? And at that moment, I realized how powerful emuna is. When we believe something can happen, have emuna, and this is a tremendous, tremendous tool that we should get for something that we really need now. It's true, it is a machlogus being a salanter and the rashash, I believe, if this works, yeah? If you can have emuna for something, it automatically happens. Or Shol Salanter says it does, and he proved to somebody, he said, I'll, I have emuna that I'm gonna get a gold watch. Five minutes later, a non-Jewish soldier walked in, he said, I'm going to war, I need someone to guard my gold watch. He gave it to Yisrael Salanter. Okay. So I'm going to, for the sake of this class, I'm going to paskin today, like Yisrael Salanter. Certainly, when we're in a question of need, we can work it. In fact, it's Chazal, it's more in Tainus, there's a tosus there, that talks about a hold and a boar, a weasel and a pit. A weasel and a pit. And the story's like this. There was a man walking on the road, and he hears a girl, a woman screaming. He goes and sees a woman in a pit. He gets her out of the pit. He said, oh, before he takes her out of the pit, he says, I'll take you out on condition you marry me. Okay, she, he got her out of the pit. She agreed to marry him. He said, I'm going to go back to my hometown. I'm going to come back and marry you. She said, how do I know you're going to come back? She said, let's make two witnesses here. This holder and the boar. The weasel and the pit. Okay. Anyway, he went back to his hometown. He forgot, like men do sometimes. Don't. That's what they're all, they, you know, they have that weakness. Please, women, be patient with your husbands. But um, he forgot. He got married. And they had two children, and then one day, one kid was walking along the road, and he fell in a pit and died. A little while later, one of the other, the other son was walking along the road, he got bit by a cholda, a weasel, and died. And the wife said, this is really strange, something's going on here. Suddenly he remembered the deal he made with this young woman, that he's going to marry her, and the two witnesses were the pit and the weasel. And he, his wife said, he gave his wife a get, he went and he married her, and she had been waiting for him. She'll be waiting for And Chazal teach us from here, Godel Koyach Amuna. We see how strong Amuna is. If you really believe in something, that's really going to happen. If you really believe in something, that is a reality. And I want to tell you, my friends, I was in my office, which is quite disorganized. I try my best, but I have so many sfarim, they're all over the place. What could I do? Um, I thank you for my wife for being patient with me. In any event, I was looking for a certain safer, and I couldn't find it. I said, Hashem, I have Amuna. I'm going to find it. I looked down, and it was right there. Yeah? Amuna is a reality. If you have something challenging in your life, and you did your Ishtalis, and you did what you could, and it hasn't helped, right? And your situation, what am I supposed to do? I need an Estrog. I need my safer. I can't find it. I can't find the Estrog. I can't find my safer. Right? Have Amuna in Hashem. I was once in Manhattan with my friend, Hanan Kaufman, Waiting for a taxi. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, rush hour, it's really hard. I said, we forgot. We forgot to daven. I said it to him, and the taxi stopped. Yeah? This is the power of Amuna. And if you really want to learn about Amuna, please write to me, dytravis613 at gmail.com. I'll send you the letter that Reb Brevda wrote for my Safer. It has a very powerful tefillah from Reb Brevda as well. And all about Amuna, what Amuna is, and how tefillah can really help our Amuna. We should all be zorchet to become maminim b'nei maminim. We already are. To bring it out, a man came to